What's going on, guys? It's Randy, back with another video. Thought it'd be cool to start off the video with an unboxing. I bought something, guys. Something Jeep related, something feet related. Look at that. It's cool already. Any guesses? I got me some new hiking shoes. Those laces are bright. No, no, those aren't even laces. Those are just red red string, I don't know. But yeah, I got the new Jeep. Hold on, I can't see the screen. Jeep Rubicon. I don't know if you can see that. It says Rubicon. And it says Jeep up on the tag by Merrill. But new hiking boots I needed some anyway and these came out and I was like why not get ones that match my Jeep <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool it has like the grill on the back too sweet well I don't think I'll be using those in this video but um, that's pretty dope it says Jeep on the inside too that's cool Honestly, the box, I'm keeping the box for sure. <laughs> Alright, um, in this video, we're going to go camping. And I'm not sure where yet, but i um, going to SB Cove, I think. Which is by Bartlett Lake in Arizona. So, I got a bunch of stuff ready already. For, sorry for the mess. Um, yeah, so that should be fun. I put on a new winch cover. I had this for a long time, but just putting it on now. But it matches the winch, so that's cool. Uh, nothing else with the gladiator. I have some. I'll just let it be a surprise. Never mind. But something else I bought for the Gladiator. I might like it. I might not. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get loaded up. I just worked a twelve and a half hour shift, almost thirteen hours, last night. It's nine fifty in the morning, and. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to try and stay up and switch my schedule over because I got the next two days off. So I'm um, going to try and flop over for the weekend and then stay up late again. Try to. The joy of working nights. All right. See you guys later. These houses up in Cave Creek really make me rethink my life decisions.
kind of an angle because the shorelines where it's flat is mostly filled up with campers. I'm actually not in SB Cove. I'm in like Bartlett Flat or something like that. I don't. I don't remember. But <laughs> yeah. I parked on some rocks, but the Jeep's still a little tilted. Should be good enough. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but we got boats flying by. There's a couple guys on like those stand-up jet skis driving around. I got my Panera. No self-service, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. I'll get some peace and quiet. <laughs> um, I just had to buy a Tonto recreational pass uh, to be able to camp here. I stopped at the ranger station and made sure. There is there is bees here, though. I'm not a fan of those, but the I just bought two recreation passes. They were like eight bucks each. Um, so I'll be good for the next couple nights here. But yeah, looking forward to relaxing, chilling, enjoying the view. Um, they said I can have a fire, so I'm gonna have a fire tonight. It's gonna be a good night. I'll keep you updated. Looking at this again. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be falling over in my sleep, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, forgot to give you a weather. It's like 73, sunny, beautiful. It said it might rain tomorrow, but hopefully it doesn't rain too much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like lay backwards <laughs> to sleep. I brought my fishing pole though, so I've seen some people fishing. I might try. I don't have any bait, so that might be an issue. It's got like the rubber stuff. We'll see. Those jet skis actually look kind of heavy. <laughs> Little duckies. Glad they didn't hit my fishing line. <laughs> This bro ain't no dummy. He's camping my line. What the hell? He's like anything you catch, I catch. <laughs> He's staying just far enough away, dude. I'm gonna get his little feet tangled in that. All right, boys. I let it sit out for a good half an hour. Well, I'm gonna reel it in. Hey y'all, so I took a nap, woke up, it's dark out, it's only like 6.30 though. Um, I used my KC lights on the side of the bed to, uh, to start my fire, so I just got that going on the beach here. There's freaking millions of stars out, it's awesome. I got 
my tent light on, of course, too. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Panera and uh, a few beers and uh, catch you guys later. This light came in really handy though. I'm not lying, a skunk just came out of the lake. <laughs> I'm so confused. There he goes. There he goes, though. Is he a little buddy? Stay away from my tent. <laughs> Alright, now there's some sort of cat right next to the skunk. They might be best friends, they might be fighting. Kind of looks like a fox. It's got a super long tail. He's hiding from me. <laughs> I might get attacked, guys. Point out on the next episode of Big Grills. Alright y'all, you might think I'm dumb, but like, do fish, do they just like, swim all the time? Like, surely not, like they gotta lay down at some point, right? Or, er, <laughs> cause I just hear them flopping all night long. Anyways. You know what I love about myself? Um, recently, like this year, yeah, pretty much this year. If I get the slight inkling that I want to do something, I do it. So, it's midnight. <laughs> I'm making some soup. No DoorDash out here. raining pretty hard like early um, there were some guys out here on their boats and they were flying back because <laughs> it was downpouring for most of the morning <laughs> um, I don't know if you could tell gladiators pretty choked uh, there, there was a little bit of water in the tent but that was my fault I left all the flaps open so the whole back got <clears throat> rained on my my compressor got soaked so hopefully that's fine oh well um I got the pole out I don't think I'm gonna catch anything but might as well try <laughs> that that mountain range looks so green now it was green before but after the rain Alright y'all, let me share my dilemma. So, it's 11.50. Uh, if I leave today, I gotta be out by one. Even though I haven't seen a single person come by to check passes. Or, sorry. Or, 
I can stay. I have another pass. However, I used all the firewood last night. <laughs> I used all four bundles. I was out here like six and a half, almost seven hours. So there's that. Can't have a fire tonight. And it's kind of chilly. I mean, it's like 62 degrees or something like that. And I can't check the weather to see if it's going to rain again. The clouds are a little dark. Kind of all over. But yeah, that's my dilemma. I got an hour to decide. But if not, I better pack up quick. Alright y'all, I decided to go home. Uh, it's 64 by the way. Anyway, but I, I don't have any wood for tonight, so I'd just be sitting there cold. So I figured I'd head home. I am checking out the rest of the shoreline though at Bartlett Lake. Beautiful lake. Um, makes me feel like I'm in a different country. <laughs> but yeah, we're just we're just cruising along here. Uh, I'll show you. I'll bring you guys with. It's a little muddy, so I didn't go all the way down, but. Yeah, you can camp along like this whole shoreline, which is pretty sweet. Tune. It's a couple kayakers, lots of people fishing, probably catching more than me. I'm 
miss the mountains when I move out of here. I uh, I kind of like the the tar the new Toyotas, by the way. Y'all gonna hate me, but <laughs> I almost I looked at one, but they sold it like right before, like the day of. So yeah. Right there is where I stayed last night. Top tent gang. There's a lot of people over here. That's a little too close for me. That's why I parked by a rock wall. <laughs> That's it for the Bartlett Flats side. It's a cool Jeep. Um, but yeah, I had a good night. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I I slept part of the day yesterday, but that's because I worked the night before. But I only slept like two to six, which I think is pretty good. And then I stayed up till about one with a fire going the whole time <laughs> but yeah it was a good time um i'll definitely come back here i gotta use my pass anyway it's like a tonto discovery pass so i could probably use it for different places too but yeah it was only eight bucks come out here have a good time i think it's per like vehicle too so if you want to bring out like some a bunch of tents or something and set those up I don't think it costs any more but yeah appreciate you guys for watching sorry if it wasn't too exciting but at least it was pretty alright see you guys